peaceful conduct of the polls has always been one of the major preoccupations of the electoral umpire as it forms the bedrock of achieving credible free and fair election. Having recognized the vital role of the traditional rulers in that regard, the Independent National Electoral Commission is engaging members of the Zamfara State Council of Chiefs on how best to ensure peaceful conduct of the next Saturday governorship and state assembly election in all parts of the state. The meeting presided over by the INEC National Commissioner in charge of Sakoto Kebian Zamfara States, Professor Muhammad Musa Kalla, was attended by monarchs from across the state. The INEC National Commissioner informed the traditional rulers that the commission is appreciative of the vital role they played, which assisted immensely in ensuring the peaceful conduct of the last presidential and national assembly election in the state. Our expectation is that they will continue with the help they have been given so that, you know, we have a peaceful election this coming Saturday, inshallah. The monarchs led by the Emir of Anka and Chairman of the State Council of Chiefs, Alaja Tahiru Muhammad Ahmad, promised to continue to adopt various strategies to sensitize their subjects and the need to maintain peace and harmony before, during and after the election. We do it through the uh, traditional channel. We have district heads, we have ward chairs, and we have other uh, traditional title holders. In addition to also uh, interacting with uh, uh, imams, so that on Friday, every, every mosque in Lampra is going to make this announcement and uh, advise people how to go about it. The royal fathers used the forum to open up on some lapses they observed during the past elections and suggested possible ways of addressing the issues. I'm glad many of them opened up, gave us frank, honest and sincere advice, which we value and which we intend to implement uh, so that we would have even a better election come 18th of uh, March 2023. In Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.